Hello friends, in this video tutorials series, we are going to understand how to make save boundary game using Adobe Flash and ActionScript language. If you want to create save boundary game using Animate CC and ActionScript language, you can follow the same steps that I'm teaching in this video tutorials series, same steps you can follow. I hope you know that Animate CC is the latest version of Adobe Flash software. In this video tutorial, first what we do is uh, we create the flash document and set up this stage. I double click on Adobe Flash icon to launch the Adobe Flash user interface. You can see that Adobe Flash user interface is launched. Next we click on ActionScript 3.0. We say create new ActionScript 3.0. If I click on ActionScript 3.0, it creates a flash document with the name untitled-1 which indicates this file is not yet saved. We are going to save this file. I say file, save as, we save the file at the desktop. I right click here, say new folder. I name the folder, save boundary game. I copy name of the folder. I click outside here. I select the folder, say open. Then I give the file name, which will be same as the name of the folder. I say here, save boundary game. And you can see that the file extension will be .fla. FLA means flash. I click on save button. You can see that the file name is changed to save boundary game. I minimize the flash application. You can see that at the desktop, we have save boundary game folder created. Inside that we have save boundary game flash document. That is how we create a flash document. I close it. After creating flash document, we set up the stage. That is game stage. So this white area is called as stage guys. We can set the dimensions here. I set stage width to 600. I hit enter. You can see that the width is changed. I set stage height to 400. Hit enter. We can launch the game window by going to control menu, test movie, test. We can click on test or we can press control enter. So I press control enter. I say control enter. When I say control enter, you can see that save boundary game window is launched. It has the width 600, height 400. I close this window. When we test the movie, when we say control test movie test or when we hit the control enter, what happens is it generates one more file inside the save boundary game folder. If I open it, there is one more file called as save boundary game flash movie. So this is an executable file guys. This is the final output actually. If I double click on it, it launches the same window which is getting played using Adobe Flash Player 11. So this is our game window guys. I close it. You can launch it at any time just by double click on this uh, Flash movie file. If I double click on it, it launches that game window. And this file is going to have an extension of SWF. If I right click on it, say properties, you see the file extension is .swf, swf, that means small web format, swf, small web format. I say cancel. I go back. If you want, you can change the stage background color. In the properties window, we have stage background color here. I click on this box and set the background color to gray. Again, I press control enter. It launches the game window, you can see that the background color is changed from white to gray. I close it. Next we set the FPS, game FPS, frames per second. 24 frames per second is used for uh, animated movies. Whereas for web games, we use FPS 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second is uh, good for uh, web games. FPS full form is frames per second. Remember that. Next I say file, save. That is how we set up the game window or the stage guys. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to go to flash or animate CC, whichever software you have installed in your computer system, create the flash document and set up the stage. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about how to make save boundary game. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be updated, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.